Hello everyone, this is Chris from KnockInnovation.com. Uh, today I'm going to do a speed comparison between two devices, the Lumia 1520 and the Nokia Lumia 920. I'll give you a quick rundown of the specs. Uh, the 1520 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 CPU running a quad-core 2.2 GHz. The 920 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 dual core 1.5 gigahertz CPU. Um, GPU is on the 1520 an Adreno 330 and on the 920 is an Adreno 225. Uh, you would think by those specs that the 1520 would usually be faster and while that may well be the case we'll see just how much quicker it is. Uh, they're both running on Wi-Fi. There is a SIM card in the 920 but it doesn't have a but data connection is switched off. Um, just a word on Wi-Fi. According to the specification, they both have A0211, A, B, G, and N, uh, but the 1520 has AC as well, which is a standard I'm not too familiar with. I'm not sure if my Wi-Fi router even outputs in that frequency. So, yes, we'll see. Okay, uh, to start with, uh, we'll... We'll try uploading a couple of maps now. We'll make sure everything's shut down in the background. Of course, Windows Phone does freeze applications, but you never know if some might be slowing things down a bit. So just to keep it all even. We'll make sure it's all running from zero. Right, uh, first of all, We'll fire up the Maps application. Okay, the 920 loaded up slightly quicker, uh, whereas the 1520 already has found my location. The 920 has just found it there. We'll search for a place. Uh, both these places have um, England maps downloaded. BA22HD, the street I grew up as a kid. They both found it in roughly the same sort of time. We'll see how long it takes to get directions. Okay, they've already got directions up on the 920. We'll start navigation. On here, drive. Both pretty much the same kind of speed. I think that was very even. All right. Uh, next, we'll try a couple of apps. Um, let's try six tag. That is a Instagram third-party client. And it loaded up slightly quicker on the 1520. Uh, one of our writers there, Derek. What a character. Um, right, we'll try BBC iPlayer. Oh, a bit quicker on the 920, it would appear. And here it goes to the 1520. We'll try clicking on a... Yeah, the 920 ever so slightly quicker. Now, not wanting to get in trouble with copyright infringement, we'll press the play button very quickly. I would say the 920 is very slightly quicker for BBC iPlayer. We'll try a couple of games. Both loaded up the games application about the same sort of time. Right, we'll try Sonic CD. Sega! Bit of nostalgia there for anyone who had a Mega Drive back in the 90s. It's loading up a tiny bit quick on the 1520. Oh, 
I would say on both occasions this gameplay is more or less identical. Um, we'll try another game. Right. Which one manages from the fast app switching screen to go back first? I would say that's pretty identical. Uh, we'll try Temple Run 2, a game which does take a while to, down, uh, to start up. And it was quicker on the 1520. Um, not sure if I mentioned it in the specs. Two gigabytes of RAM on the 1520. Just one gigabyte of RAM on the 920. And we'll see how... And it's now ready to play on the 920. Mm, I've already dropped off on one of them. Okay. Gameplay very similar on both devices, I believe. Let's shut these down in the background. Uh, we will try Hill Climb Racing. A favourite of mine. Mm. And on both of those occasions it started a little bit quicker. I would say on the fifteen twenty. Okay, now let's try the Bing search application. And we can access that by clicking on the uh, spyglass thing. Bit of a reach on the 1520, very easy on the 920. Okay, less than a second in it, but right, what should we search for? Okay, the word hello. Go to the site. Okay, it loaded up already on here and it's just finished on the 920. We'll try a couple of websites while we're here. We'll go into the favourites. Um, let's try our website. Nokiainnovation.com, of course. Looks pretty even. It's finished on the 1520. And it's now finished on the 920. Okay, we'll fire up, we'll load up a post. If we do Andy's Pebble uh, right up, because there's a lot of pictures in that post. 920 jumped into the lead as in terms of rendering the page, whether it will actually finish loading first. They're neck and neck. It's now finished on the 1520. Still loading on the 920 and it's now finished. Okay, if we zoom, if we maybe click on one of the images to see it in full size. Done on the 920. Now done on the 1520. Uh, we'll try one more site. Uh, 
Yahoo Sport. Very quick on the 1520 to render the page. And it's done. And it's now done on the 920 as well. Uh, we'll click on a post. Although we actually missed it there on the... Oh, no, we didn't. We're done on the 920. Those two didn't start loading at exactly the same time. Um, just to show, all settings were the same. Uh, all on desktop versions. And all pretty much the same down here. Okay, uh, one more app we'll try is speedtest.net. Uh, now, someone did make a point when I did the comparison between the 920 and the 1020. I did a speedtest.net comparison and I pressed both of them to start at the same time. And someone in the comments did point out that this was a rather unfair test because they one of them is always going to go a little bit before the other. But we'll try that one more time and then we'll try them individually. They're both in the Bristol one, but yep, the 920's got a download speed of 37, while the 1520 has 5.28. Upload speed's actually very similar. Actually slightly quick on the 1520. So 36.09 on the 920 for download, 5.28 on the 1520 for uploads. It was 10.21 on the 920 and 11.45. Now we'll try them individually. They're both on the same server, Bristol. We'll do the 920 first. And twelve point six nine for download uh, for upload now on the nine twenty on the fifteen twenty. Very similar thirty nine point seven three download speed and upload speed of oh, it's dropping. Now this is far from a scientific test, of course, because um. Download speed and upload speeds changes by the second. I think it's got a bit stuck on the 1520 there. Uh, so make of that what you will. Uh, one more test I would like to do before we take a look at the camera is uh, both of these have glance screen on them. So we will see when we shut down the screen. Uh, they're both set to peak mode. And that means that when you wave your hand in front of the camera, um, yeah, in front of the um, proximity sensor, just at the top of the, the device, it should wake up the screen, uh, it should wake up the clock. Now, unlike the 1520 and the 820, this, uh, these have IPC, uh, IPS displays rather than AMOLED, meaning that the entire screen is illuminated in order to see the glance screen. So we'll see how that works. Which one brings up the always on clock first? Although it's not always on, but that's why it was called on other devices like the 920, uh, sorry, the N9 and N8. It was actually came up slightly faster on the 920. Whether that was because the light hit it first, or it's on the other side, we'll swap over sides when they both go out and we'll try it again. Okay, and on that occasion it was the 9, uh, 1520 that brought it up quicker. Uh, double tap to wake, how responsive are they? I'd say it's pretty much identical. Okay, and we'll now try the camera, which loads up the camera first. Uh, Oh, 
that was actually really quicker on the 1520. Uh, just a bit of information on the camera. And the camera's on these two devices. Uh, the Lumia 1520 has a 20 megapixel Carl Zeiss Optics camera with optical image stabilization. Um, it has a 1 over 2.5 sensor size with pure view technology, dual capture, geotagging, face detection, and panorama, and a video camera of at 1080p with 30 frames per second. The 920 over here has an 8 megapixel, although I believe it's actually 8.7 megapixel, Carl Zeiss optics with optical image stabilization, autofocus, dual LED flash. Um, it has pure view technology, geotagging, and touch focus with its uh, video camera running at 1080 uh, capable of 1080p at 30 frames per second with video stabilization uh, we found something nice to take a picture of um, tell you what we'll see how they quickly they load up from the camera key again the 1520 was ready just before we'll try shop to shop time on both devices uh, i'm pretty certain we'll check the settings on these devices always off 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 69 yeah there's no focus light on or anything i personally don't like the focus light right let's see shot to shot time we'll focus in Okay, uh, actually the pitch was taken quick on the 920. Very slightly quick on the 920 it seems. Perhaps due to the smaller camera lens. I'll try one more. Okay, and we'll also try the st stock camera. Loaded up quicker on the 1520. Uh, we'll take a picture. Uh, they both had the the um, focus light, so we'll switch that off on both. And we'll save that. Try it again. Both very similar. More or less the same. Hard to tell on that one. Okay, I think we'll leave it there. For, if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see looked at or compared on either of these devices, I'd be very interested to hear it. Uh, leave a comment in the section. This is Chris from NokiaInnovation.com. Thanks for watching.